Hello, in this video I'll show how to encrypt email messages using Mailvelope. Encryption is the process that scrambles uh, a message so that it's not legible to anyone looking at it. And with encryption, uh, a sender can send e encrypted email messages and the receiver has a way to recover or restore the original message but uh, the internet is not a secure uh, medium and anyone looking at a traveling message there a, a traveling email message will not be able to figure out the original message in this example I'll use mailvelope mailvelope is an open source project that uses uh, pgp pretty good privacy which is a standard security protocol. Mailvelope comes as an extension to Chrome or Firefox. When you click here on the Chrome Web Store you're, you go to this page and then you can say add to Chrome. In this case I already have it installed. This icon here appears and then you can click on it and say options and generate key. Uh, the notion of the key is um, a key or a key pair is something that actually uh, uh, scrambles or encrypts the, the messages. You have the notion of a key pair with a public and a private key. A public key can be freely, freely distributed to anyone and you can send to your friends or 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 to anyone and your private key uh, should be only be known to yourself only the creator should know or see the private key you should not expose it by any means over the internet so I'm going to create uh, here a key pair this is my email and I'm going to create a private key which is a passphrase and now it's generating uh, the key pair and here's the message saying that the key pair was generated I'm going to click on display keys and here is the new key pair here are the two icons uh, representing a private, a private and public key if I click here click on export display public key this pop-up actually shows the public key this whole tax here is the public key uh, just generated now okay so I'm going to um, import the key uh, of a friend of mine that is because I want to send a message to my friend called Gustavo so I'll get his public key so I'm just going to paste here Gustavo's key, Gustavo's public key. Click on submit. It just says that the public key was imported. If I click now on display keys, I have Gustavo's key here. So I'm going to go to Gmail. This is uh, Gmail for Robalto. I'm going to compose a new message to Gustavo. Here it is, Gustavo. And this icon appears here. This is icon is created by Mailvelope. So I click here. And I say, hey, Gustavo, this is a secret message. OK. I'm going to click on this lock icon here. I'm going to say, uh, here's Gustavo's name. I'm going to say, add, encrypt for, Gustavo and you see now it's all scrambled here that's the PGP message I'll click on transfer and on send I just sent the encrypted message to Gustavo now let's look at the other process the other way uh, so Gustavo 
actually uh, read the message and he sent me an encrypted message. Gustavo got on hold of my public key or I gave to Gustavo the public my public key as Robalto and he sent me an encrypted message. So now me, I'm, I'm going to open Gustavo's message. And with Mailvelope, I have this icon here. I'm going to click. I'm going to type my private key, which is my which was my passphrase, and click OK. And here's the unencrypted or the decrypted message sent by Gustavo.